Just in case you're just joining the show today, I got my girl Persia White on the line. And if y'all don't know who she is, she's Lynn from Girlfriends, the show Girlfriends. Persia, you still there? Yep. Yeah. Oh. I'm here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, speaking about your CD, you say it'll be out in a couple of weeks? The physical, yeah. The digital's on iTunes and all over. Is it an independent release? Right now it is, but it'll probably eventually be hooked up with... I'm looking at who's going to do the physical distribution. Oh. It might be a, a division of Universal, huh. but that would be to, to be decided. Right, right. I understand that. I, I know how that goes. We just we just did some music with Mary J. Blige for uh, Giffen, and we really going back and forth with them right now. Oh. Uh, so, so I understand that. And actually, I would love to work with you now that I think about it, because <laughs> I, I love your style. Um, and, and getting... The, I don't want to call your style. Uh, I, I hope I don't offend you, but it's it, it, it's like I don't know. Explain it, cause I, I don't want to make you mad. I might say something wrong. <laughs> say it. I, I was say gonna it. say it's. What do you think? I, I was gonna say it's kind of like dark. It's it's. I, I I don't know. Dark. I mean. I hear that a lot. Oh okay. Well. I'm, I'm trying to make up for being so light skinned. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. I'm like uh, I'm one of those girls who has like issues. Oh, yeah, I used to actually to be honest, but not anymore. But um yeah, no, no. It is a little dark, I know. You know, it's a little a little dark. But I think it's kinda happy. Really? That's because my mind is a little dark. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, once you get into the lyrics and things, it's, it's deep, and and I can see your point about that. Cause like I said, the the, the only song I really listen to it in the entirety is Tease, and um, you know, y'all y'all did y'all thing on that. And, and like I said, you know, when I spend the Thursday night down at this place called Apache Cafe, and actually Apache Cafe is known for like true school hip hop. You know, I'm not, I'm talking like the KRS One. Uh, real days of hip hop, you know, not not these young bucks out here today. But um, you know, like I say, it got a good vibe. You know, and everybody was I feeling know that's it. not the same, they were like, wait, this is not just dropping it and you need to be you need the low level. I love I love that kind of music. I mean I like the like old school hip hop is true. I kinda like it a little gangster though. <laughs> that's just me. I do. I'm like, okay, I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, you, well, you in L.A. Yeah, but I'm from I'm from Pennsylvania, you know, from Philly. It's just me. I just, I just like that really, really, you know, hardcore going to hip hop. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Every now and then I'm listening to words. I'm like, oh, what did you say? Oh, well, let me just knock that and ignore that. Uh, <laughs> Put that to the side and listen to the beat because sometimes it's just it's too good to not. Well, well, it's all good. I, I love all kinds of music, but I just can't understand half the stuff these little young kids out here saying today. But like I say, that's a generation. So right. my son, he he vibes with it, and he tell me I'm just old. So I'm like, well, oh. you know, yeah, I think that's a, um, yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. Like I was gonna say, when I was younger, I think I was about sixteen when I started to listen to lyrics really closely. And then by 21, I just couldn't ignore it anymore. <laughs> I was like, by 25, it's now influencing your taste. You right. know? But when you're young, you don't care. You just like, it's, it's the beat and the groove is in. Right. Yeah, you just let it go. Yeah. Well, hey. So you were saying the style is real dark. Yes, I agree. No, I, 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 well, like I said, that's just my opinion. I don't know. But like I said, they was feeling it, and I'm, I'm gonna keep spending it for you, you know. And you know, I hope the the CD, the entire CD, do real well for you. Thank you, and I want to do something. Maybe we'll do something one day. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Like I said, I'm open. I got a production team. We're running around. We've worked with many artists, and I mean, I'm just looking to get a lot of work. And 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 speaking of work, <laughs> what are you? You got anything going on with acting now since the girlfriends? Um, a movie I just did called Spoken Word, which is actually kind of cool. A little hard on me because it was about spoken word poetry, and you know, after being with Saul, I'm very picky. Right. You know, at this point, I take a lot of people don't understand or know about spoken word, and it's very like has a special place 
um, from experiencing so much of it just with him and around him and his shows, you know, that's like, that's, that's very hard. That's like hanging around with Picasso and uh, then going to, to regular art school, you know? Here yeah, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yeah, he's great. So, but spoken word, um, I'm dating a spoken word poet, um, and I'm playing a painter, which ironically I, I do paint. So I'm doing my first like gallery show uh, coming up yeah, in supposed to be in February. No. It might, be, it might be beginning of March. Hmm. Well, so, wish. I'm painting and um, I've been combining the three like mixed mediums. You know, a combination of music and art and visual okay. and media. So that's my latest exploration. And then I'm working on producing some stuff right now. Um, stuff that I would be in is um, trying to get off the ground and in the production development phase on one. Hey, staying busy. Always. That's the most important thing. Stay busy. Gotta keep it busy for the year. Yeah. Make something happen in this crazy, crazy world. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, like I say, I appreciate you taking the time to call in today. Thank you. And since we've been talking about your song, I'm getting ready to put it on right now. Can you pitch to it? Um, this is Tease <laughs> <laughs> with uh, featuring Tricky, who I love from back in the day with Massive Attack and everybody. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty, pretty honest song from my experience with some of these sexy, undecided men I have met. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Why are you laughing? Hey, I'm just listening. I'm are you one of them? <laughs> no, dude. No. no okay. <laughs> it's all good my way, you know. Don't you take Don't you try to hide 